So this song's been, uh, lately people have been like, I can't believe you haven't listened to Dragon Cries. A collaboration with David Bowie's producer. Let's see here. Music producer Tony Visconti, who worked with David Bowie and T-Rex, was photographed the band September. Um, Dragon Cries is a collaboration with the Grammy Award winning producer. Psyche and Miki recorded the vocals at his studio in New York, while the other band members recorded the instrumentals in Tokyo. Tony gave his impression of the two members. I love the originality of band made. It was like a dream come true to meet them. During recording, Saiki and Miku sang from eight hours straight. I don't know how many artists with that kind of I don't know many artists with that kind of stamina. I was taken back by their professionalism. They definitely met my expectations. Guitarist Miku adds, Tony really likes bandmate and is such a friendly and lovely person. I'm so grateful to have recorded in the same New York studio as David Bowie and really appreciate that Tony could produce our hopes and wishes. When I meet Tony again, I want to show him how much we've grown. So, um, I hear a lot of shit talked about this song, like it's not good, it's not their own thing, whatever. Um, uh, let's see, it says the result of, is a progressive rock experiment that swings on a meditative melody. There's the simple hook and the bass and the guitar rip that recalls some old school blues rock. So I'm not going to be influenced by the rest of this. I just wanted to get that out of the way. So I was interested because people, a lot of people don't like it. I've heard people that love it and it's it's in English. Um so I'm I'm very curious about this. I may have heard bits of it. I don't freaking know. At this point, you're just gonna get me reacting what I'm looking at, regardless of what it, I heard it before. <laughs> you, uh, you guys and the guys on that are over on Discord know more than I do what I've seen. So here we go. The Dragon Cries band made. I've heard it. I've heard the whole song. Uh, I haven't delved into it on repeated listens, but I know I've heard it because that's a fucking cool riff. has a problem with this song who and why tell me in the comments why do you have a problem with this song because it's fucking great man okay i didn't even realize i was listening to this song like because i've listened to it i've <laughs> like took it back and listened to it this is a great song i love this song i didn't even know it people are like why don't you listen to dragon cries i don't know i haven't heard it i'm sorry guys i'm waiting to re react to it for you well it turns out i've already heard it so uh yeah how could you, I don't know. And, uh, you know, Psyche doesn't really speak English. So to be, she had to be told, like, here's the words, this is why, and here's how you say it properly. And then to do it and put the, the, the feeling in it that she's going to put into it. That's awesome, man. I couldn't imagine trying to sing something in Japanese and not sound like a fucking idiot. <laughs>
song is making me way happier than the content of the lyrics. <laughs> it's kind of a it's kind of a downer as far as lyrics go and what the visuals are showing, but goddamn the song's <laughs> song's fucking great. That's a great solo. Uh, oddly enough, it reminded me of Kirk Hammett. I, I, just in, uh, in the fact that I mentioned with, with her and uh, I think Kirk before and Alex Lifeson, um, there are people that, to me, what they do is they just listen and kind of compose and this is totally me speculating, compose what the solo is going to be in their head and then they figure it out. They don't play around and, and they're not playing from the song to figure out what to play. They hear a melody and they play it. So if it stops and starts in weird spots, that's fine because that's that's what they heard. You know, there's she starts out tremolo picking and a couple legato stuff and then some, some staccato stuff. It's really cool, man. I, I put it right up there with all those people because she is phenomenal. <laughs> So I don't know. Uh, Konami is always a good place to stop. So yeah, there's nothing about that song to me that doesn't sound like band made. Um, other than the fact that the lyrics are in English, uh, the vocal melodies and everything track right along with band made. Um, everything else about it was, I don't know why anybody wouldn't dig that song. I don't understand why it's called the dragon cries. Unless they're just trying to make some connection to Japan. I don't know. I don't really give a shit. It's a good song, man. Sometimes you just can't overthink it. So anyway, that was awesome. Uh, that's the first I've listened to it like real close. I usually just enjoyed it. So uh, there you go. Dragon Cries, Band Made. Kick-ass song. Big freaking surprise. What is next, folks? I don't know. <laughs> 